In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to make your own custom screen layouts in Tractor. Layouts are a great way to customize your Tractor interface so you can see only the features that you need to use at any given time. If I go to the upper right hand side of the screen, I can see my layout selector drop down menu. If I click the drop down menu, I have four different layouts to choose from. Each layout will show or hide different parts of the interface. Now I can actually create my own layouts by going to the preferences, which is the gear icon here, and then clicking on layout manager. When I'm in the layout manager, I can click add to add a new layout. And then I'm going to choose what kind of layout I want to use. I'm going to choose Extended 2-Deck. Now if I click on the name Copy of 1 Extended, I can rename the layout. I'm just going to clear that field and call it Berkeley DJ Jedi. And then click Rename to rename the layout. I can reorder the order of these layouts by clicking move up or move down. I'll put this at the top. Now there's a few different sections that I can customize this layout inside of the preferences. They are Dex layout, track Dex, mixer, global settings, and browser details. If I go to browser details, I can customize my browser. If I click on Show Preview Player, it will show this little preview deck here. This will let me pre-listen to songs before loading them into a deck. I'm actually going to turn this off. Show Cover Art will show the track's album artwork at the bottom of the browser tree. Let's leave that on. Show Playlist Favorites will show the 12 shortcuts to our favorite playlists. Show Track Info will show or hide the track info window at the bottom, which we don't really need. We'll keep show status bar error messages on since we definitely want to see those if there's any errors. If I go to the global settings section, I can show or hide the global section. We probably want to show the global section since we want to see the main volume and the effects. You can also choose in the global section which panels are shown, such as the master clock or the effects. And on the right side, you can choose to show the recorder or the effect too. Let's show the effects. If I go to my decks layout, I can choose what kind of deck I want the deck to be, such as a track deck or a remix deck. Let's leave them both at track decks. I can then choose what size the deck is. So for example, if I chose micro, we'll get a very small, narrow waveform. Whereas if I chose advanced, it will show a full-size deck with all of the deck functions, including this advanced panel down here. Now the advanced panel contains our move, cue, and grid functions. Additionally, if you wanted to show or hide that, you can just click this little arrow underneath the active button and it will save that to the layout. Down here in the tempo fader section, you can choose whether or not you want to show the tempo of the deck, which we definitely want to see. The platter scope section is if you're using timecode vinyl. If I chose scope, for example, I could actually see the incoming vinyl signal. Since we're not using timecode, I'll turn that off. Then down here, we have the miscellaneous section, which you can customize the deck. So I'm going to load a track into a deck by dragging and dropping it. And you can see how we have this blue waveform here. I can actually change the color. So by default, the color mode is set to ultraviolet, which is blue. But if I change it to infrared, we have this orange waveform, which is like the original tractor waveforms. X-ray is black and white waveforms, and spectrum is a colored waveform. This is what we want to use for the most part, is spectrum. Spectrum will give us a colorful waveform that shows us the frequencies of our track. So for example, red waveform means there's lots of bass. Green waveform means there's vocals or synthesizers and blue means it's mostly high frequencies like snares 
hi-hats, and percussion. You can additionally change the grid mode to full, which will give you a brighter representation of every beat, or you can change the beat markers to ticks or even turn them off. I like to use dim. In the deck header section, you can choose if you want to show the cover art, which is the album artwork, or the phase meter. Now we probably want to show the phase meter since that's Tractor's visual way of beat matching. The track deck section will let us customize the deck header in Tractor. So at the top of my deck here, you can see that I have the artist, title, and comment. I also have the elapsed time, remaining time, and label, as well as BPM and original BPM and tempo. So you can customize what you see in the deck header here. So for example, you might want to show the title at the top, the artist in the middle, the release at the bottom, and then you could show track BPM at the top, or you can show tempo. Any of these fields you can show inside of the deck. Then there's other things in the miscellaneous section like track end warning. I like to set this at 60 seconds. This will make it so when you get to 60 seconds left in the song, it will start blinking red here at the bottom to tell you the track's about to end. You can also change the default zoom if you want. I like 0.75, but you could zoom in if you want by default here. Then you can change the stripe view to either fit the record, which is for time code users or track. Let's just leave it at track. So all of those settings will be applied to the layout that you've saved. And you can access this layout at any time just by clicking on the layout selector and choosing your custom layout.